Hi. Yes? What have you got, Truly? What it's is it? There's not a lot that's going on today. We're going to go it? for a walk to a wood, but it's a bit warm. Yeah, but if we go after dinner, it will cool down. Okay. And it breaks up that... Uh, stretch before bed. That stretch before bedtime, which is... But I think that's because you and I put the kids to bed quite late. You know, Freddie doesn't go to bed before nine, does he? Well, nine's an early one. Maybe we should change that to like Because then he'll get up earlier. That's okay. It's not with me. I don't like getting up early. I see this is where me and Laura differ. I'm I'm an early person. I get up don't with my circadian rhythm. Uh, this is a this So I'm awake rhythm. by I'm awake by like five thirty most days. Feeling when Tom good. and I first met, and I was having sleepovers at his house. Um, out your mouth. Pajama pies. Yeah. Um, he. Would um, you nearly got ambushed by He'd wake up at six, six o'clock in the morning and would play songs to me. He'd be like, Oh, just heard this song and it's so good. Listen, <laughs> really loud in my ear. And genuinely, for a short time, I thought, oh, Are you I saying you don't, don't want to get with hand. that? <laughs> Think about it. Uh, I'd love to be on that. Anyway, that was touch and go. Also, because the fact that I lived in North London and he lived in South London, and it was like travelling to like Australia. Like to Middle Earth and back. It was. <coughs> the squeal is new. And the truth has a habit it. of just wanting to squeal, but like inches from ears. Wait, why? What, what do you want to do? Are you stuck? You stuck? Stuck. Look at these cute curls at the bottom, but you like stick of the dump at the top. <laughs> What are you doing? Are you doing some kind of weird yoga pose? <laughs> no, she's just Ow. always trying to separate us. How dare we? Oh my god. Whittle. Oh, good. But I daddy Hold wants on. to wear it. Let daddy see. Let, let mommy take it off then. Oh, daddy. What happened to sharing? Don't it off. Oh. <laughs> Please. Okay. Well, that didn't last very long. Hey. Don't see you. Pink's not your girl. So we have come for a little walk. That is a sun literally in my face. We have come for a little walk. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie's like accosting people that are trying to play cricket. They're in their own families, you know them. But it's really nice. Tom's going to go and get. They're literally going in opposite directions. There's one. Wait, we'll find the other one somewhere. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Tom's going to go and get Freddie some shorts because he's running around in a nappy. People tend to pull faces about that. He wears a nappy to go for a wee, but he doesn't really wear pants. Which one do I follow? The two-year-old or the autistic five-year-old? Hi. So we've come over to my mum's house, don't worry, from a very safe social distance of two metres. Well, actually further. They're farmers, so they're in the middle of a field. It's pretty much like we're at a park. We've brought our own snacks and a blanket. <laughs> but the reason we're here is because my mum and dad have horses and ponies. I'm not going to try and be specific. I'm going to say Welsh Section A for my mother. And she's going to be really proud of me if I've got that right. But basically we're trying to get Freddie used to being around horses because at some point we would like to try equine therapy when we're allowed to, obviously. But we're just trying to kind of introduce him to them and get him used to them. Oh. <laughs> The joy of bringing your toys from home with you is you hear the same noise wherever you go. But anyway, we're going to try and interact with some ponies. See? Your 
baby horse, guys. You got a baby. A baby horse? Where is it? A puppy. Papa. <laughs> yeah. Got the puppy in there. Papa, yeah. Where's he gone through there? Who's that? Say hi. Good afternoon. Hello, horsey. No. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get your fingers? Put your fingers, pop it. <laughs> so good. Watch your fingers. Yay, good boy. Anyone else really enjoy just lying on a trampoline? Oh. You okay? Yeah. Truly, can you say mommy? Can you say mommy? Mommy. Yeah, good job. Ready? Can you say it? Or is it more of a ummy? Ummy. Oh. oh man, it's such a nice day. Patio day today. Oh. Although I've not actually done much yet. summer house we've not done too badly so far stop for a coffee break and we're both still alive you know that, that's that's pluses all around um truly could i mean freddie couldn't care less She's... what we were doing but truly wants every screw that we use she wants i mean just literally everything Ev everything we try to use she wants it. Yeah, everything. So, it's making it a little difficult. Tom's bit is latte art to good use this one. I've got a swan here. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah very yeah. jazzy. Anyway, look at this one with the top off. The huge. Vitamin D, baby. Mm, it's very good Vitamin D. All right, we better crack on with coffee drinking before we attempt going back to it. For a good hour. Not an hour. Drinking. No one has an hour's coffee break. Well, I got us really big mugs, so it was longer. <laughs> So check it out, the patio is finally done. Um, and took we, long enough. We we didn't kill each other. Well, we made that thing it. behind us. The so doors, like a summer house. the doors aren't quite right. Oh, my brother-in-law, Greg, gorgeous Greg, came to fit them for us because we did the rest. But they don't. The doors quite are really complicated. Go. Turns out they're complicated because. Um, we were maybe a little skewithy. The, the summer house may be on the wonk. A little, a little on the wonk. Um, so, but 
That doesn't matter because the important thing is we did it together. We did. And neither shed, of us died. The shed I did on my own, which is in the corner over, over there. Can and, you see um, the shed in that so there's a playground area? It's, it's, the trampoline. You can't even really see it. Can you see in the, the trampoline? Right Can you see in the trampoline? <laughs> over here, look, right? In the trampoline. We had some, some like water wipes that we clean nappies and stuff with. And truly just takes them out. She's got a thing of just taking them out and throwing them. It's like a teenager's been in there. Disgusting. Hi. But I'm going to carry on painting now. Tom's not going to paint. I'm not a big fan of painting. I prefer, you know, laying these. He didn't lay them. I didn't actually lay them. I just he prepped it for someone to come over and lay, lay them. Yeah. We had two lovely men come and lay them. But the patio's down. We just needed a Wendy house and some of the bits and bobs. Maybe some seating for some house. Yeah, we and could do with some seating. We've only got those benches Yay. there so far. But yeah, bosh, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to paint and Tom's probably going to sit and watch me. Ooh, that was thunder. That was thunder. You probably couldn't hear that in there, but they just heard some thunder, so she ain't painting for long. <laughs> So tr truly, yeah. Welcome to the unknown. What do you think? I think. Do you think? Do you think? What do you think of it? Hey, 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 hey. Does it feel like we're in Middle Earth? No. No. Oh, okay. Wow. Hi. Ready? Let's get in the road, Jensen. Yeah. Got out. Mummy. stingers apparently <laughs> but Laura seems to be taking us far beyond the unknown uh, Tommy. yeah I know Ow. Uh, Jesus Happy wedding anniversary to us. Today. Today? Yeah. 7th of June. We've been married for six years. Six years. Six years. Yeah, yeah 2020. Six. Yeah. Um, it's really strange. Freddie's birthday is the 1st of June. So it's in June. Mm -hmm. We got married on the 7th. 7th of the 6th. And Trudy's birthday is the 6th of the 7th. Depending on if you're in America or not. Oh yeah. No, it's either way the around. The sixth of July. But either way, it's either six, seven, seven, six. It's either June seventh or whatever. <laughs> Got married. We had a marquee down at the lake that was in one of our first YouTube videos. That's where we had our marquee. And we got married at a church I was, where I was so tired that morning, right? Because I was so nervous that I woke up. So my, my brother 
Jack, my younger brother Jack, was uh, one of my best men, and my other brother Ben was my other best man. And I woke up at like 3.30 a.m., was wide awake, so nervous. And um, I said, Jack? He was, in the, he was in the room next to me in the hotel we were staying at. I said, Jack? He went, hmm? I said, you awake? <laughs> Obviously he's not. He was like, oh yeah, uh, yeah. And I said, do you fancy going for a drive? <laughs> uh, and he was like, um, yeah, okay. So we went for a drive to um, calm my nerves and just chat. And uh, there was a 24 okay. hour garage that was doing, that was open for coffee. So we went and got coffee and drove around. And I was, we were, so that, the, the whole wedding day, I've been awake since like 3, 3.30 a.m. and then was awake through the night because we partied all night. It was so good. See, I, um, Tom I and I, I was Tom and I, really tired. We, I did a lot of the decorations myself for our wedding. And I, um, we put them all out the night before and then we had a rehearsal at the church, didn't we, with the mm. vicar who's one of the funniest people ever. Plays guitar. He does. The vicar. He told the congregation off because he's like, you can't clap yet. I haven't finished, but it was messing. Basically. Wait for the encore. Yeah, but um, we did the rehearsal and then I kissed Tom by and was like, I'll see you in the morning. And I went home and my dad was like, whoa, let's get the Prosecco out. And all my girlfriends are there. So it just got a little bit crazy. And my mum was uh, came up to me at one point and was like, Laura, it's half past 11 and you're a little bit too drunk. Have a glass of water because you're getting married tomorrow. And then the whole, oh, I'm getting married, that would start again. And then we'd have more per second. It, it, it was a vicious cycle. Our night before was very civilised. It was like the was other it? way around of what traditionally you do. The men go out and get hammered and the... Not with my girlfriends. Are... It's the other way around. They're we had a very best. nice civilised meal with my family and stuff. And then we went back and we played board games at the hotel and stuff. I feel like our, our, our evening was a little bit boring. Mine was In fact, not no, I did. Like come, I came over all. to yours, didn't I? No, I, I'm sure I did. I turned up at some point. Oh, maybe. Lou Carnell from Black Sails had turned up, and Jessica. <gasps> Jessica Morris. Parker Kennedy. No, sorry, yeah, Jessica Parker Kennedy. You're thinking of Jess Morris. Wrong. Yeah, two Jesses Wrong at the Jess. But yeah. um, and then the next morning, I couldn't work out why loads of the blinds were closed at my mum's house. Turns out they were trying to hide the fact that it was thundering. And it was like torrential down. Oh, the morning of. The morning of. Poured with rain. And obviously I was getting more and more nervous. Tom and I had done gifts for each other for the morning of. Yeah, it rained horribly. But then literally as I stepped into it, my wedding dress. The sun came out. The I, sun came I'd out. arrived, yeah. I was at the church and literally it was pouring down rain. I was handing out umbrellas and then... It was, I stepped out of the church after I think I'd gone and like walked my mum in there or something. And as I stepped out, the sun just Came blazed out. out and then yeah. it never left. Yeah. The whole time. And then we got, got married at the church, went back to the marquee. Then I just remember, I remember loads of wedding magazines saying... At one point, you have to sit there and just take it all in because mm. it's unlikely you will ever get all of the people that you love in one space again like that. She's true. And it's, like, it's not very often you get all those was, people in one place. And I did, and I sat there at the dinner. And just sat and, and watched them. I mean, I'd got a corset on the inside of my dress, and I was like, Mom, quick, you've got to do it for a minute, can't breathe. She did. Yeah, so I kept I saying to you, you looked like really intense at one point. I'm yeah, like, are you okay? You're right. She went, I, I can't just, breathe. No, no. That it was because I was taking it in. I was just but looking was around the, the room and kind of, I couldn't believe I'd got everyone I loved in one space. You know what's really it interesting as well much. is Brian, our vicar, he said something on our wedding day that made me think, and I always think of it, like whenever things are like tough in a marriage, he said. You must always always remember this moment, how you feel in this moment. And I always oh. remember that now. Whenever like things we do have a tough day or three hey. in a row. <laughs> Everyone um, does. I uh, I always think about that because it's important, you know, because yeah. you've got to remember how you felt when you got married. Because 
life is uh, life sends you a few curveballs here and there. Very lived up. It was it was honestly the best day of my life. I think having your children Win. is is a different sort of experience. Have like giving birth, but no, our wedding day is the best day of my. It was the best party. It didn't stop. Well, the thing is, it couldn't have gone better. Could it, it was you know, just was so good. Yeah. Well, well, our friend Jacob Scroby, who's excellent. It's like the party bringer. He, he the bar, the party. by about 2 a.m., the Literally. bar had stopped. And the DJ was like, I've got to go home. And Scroby just came. He went, give me a minute. Ran out to his car. Got an ice box. Like a cooler. Full of alcohol. Cooled. Ready. And slammed it in the middle of the dance floor, plugged his phone in and was like, this doesn't stop. And it didn't. And it was just, <laughs> it just carried on moment. and it did not stop. I do vaguely remember being with my brother-in-law, Daniel Chambers, and the two of us were rapping to whatever song it was, but we were very closely rapping. That's one of the last moments I remember. That and there's a picture someone took of me falling asleep in the entrance to the marquee with my second wedding dress on and a cap on backwards and hugging a bottle of rosé. Class. That's I remember, what I bring to I remember, the wedding. In fact, I didn't remember this until my friend James Robinson, who <gasps> plays the young William James Wallace Robinson. in Braveheart. He is the young William Wallace in Braveheart. Um, um, he, he said, up. "Yeah, he he turned up at like eleven o'clock with his lovely girlfriend with at the Louise. time." With and oh, um, she's a babe. You know, he sent me a video recently going, "This was a great night," and it was a bunch of videos Do his from accent. the wedding. Don't pretend. This is a great night, man. That was that's that jammer. was great, Jamma. And um, he's Scottish, in case you didn't get that. Yeah, in case um, that's fish. In case all the Scots go, what was that? <laughs> um, and. I was rapping to um, California by California. Tupac and Dr. Dre. I know the words the whole of the, the first verse. The two verse, of you know that. Not... The two of you did it together. It no, like, he... <gasps> we had a... Uh, um, you had a, like a, a riff off. The oh, yeah, we did a sing The Stag yeah. did as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, with, with Bradley James and... Bradley James uh, and Macca. All, all my boys, yeah. Tomu, uh, um and Jacob Scroby, the guy who brought and the Jacob drinks. And Jacob uh, Well, he... he I can you the